joining us. This week we get our back cover on our boat fitted, also known as a pram cover or canopy. So you'll see it being measured, you'll see them using super, super high technology equipment um, to specially fit it and then hopefully towards the end of the video you'll see me and Paul actually operating it. But we also thought we'd add bits where we look at the pros and cons to getting one. Um, so with the help of Ernie, of course, we take you through some of the pros and cons and our, that helped us make our decision to buy one. Hope you enjoy. Installation and fitting should be a really, really quality, nice, tight fit, but not too tight that you can't actually do up your poppers, etc. And your <laughs> <laughs> and your little turning. I need to cut this out of the way there, and I need to cut this there, and then it's got an upright support there as well. So yeah, right, ready. Canopy's going on. AJ Canopies, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Bit of concentration there, I saw. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Alright? Yeah, good. Thank you. Busy? Yeah, of course. After the crick show, always. Oh, of course. The, yeah, you was at the crick show. I come and spoke to you at the crick show. Sorry? With the lovely dog. Yeah, with the lovely dog. Yeah. What's your names? I'm Callum. I'm Callum. Fraser. 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 So your third generation of the company then? Yeah, so it was my um, my grandma that started the business. And then she passed on the knowledge to my granddad. Um, and then they passed it down to my mum. Yeah. And then my dad got involved. Yeah. And then they passed it on to me. So third generation. Oh. So it's, it's passion involved, it's legacy involved. You've got you've got you've got the pressure of creating exactly. the uh, the fourth generation. Of which course, obviously yeah. could be a bit of fun along the way it's there, like, I suppose. Oh well, yeah, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's not just um, that's what I say, for me it's it's not just a business, it's a passion. You know, my my you know, my granddad and um, grandma worked so hard yeah. and um, it's more than just like I want to do a good service and yeah. I'm, I'm actually passionate about what I do. Yeah, it's yeah, no, it's good, it's, it's good. quite rare. Yeah, it's because, good. you know, you'd ask why yeah, is a 20 year old yeah. lad so passionate about boat covers, well, I am. Yeah, no, that's good. I must admit, it's uh, your generation, I must admit, is trying to find the things people that are passionate as well it's, mm. it's, it's yeah. I think it's quite a lot of now is to sort of perhaps I'm wrong but it's just turn up really into a day's work mm. sort of thing and not perhaps care so much maybe I don't know yeah, whether that's no. a fair comment or not no, you know it's just I, I have seen that quite a bit on building sites and yeah. that you see you know there's actually where, like a, a study that says like 50% of workers have already checked out their job yeah but they just turn up and just stroll along and do yeah. what they want to do yeah 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 it's different in family yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. yeah, you've got responsibility. Yeah. Unlucky. Yeah, <laughs> bad thing, yeah. It, a, it can be a bad thing. <laughs> so, just made the thread there. I don't like to put you under any pressure here. I'm going to on my own now. <laughs> I hope it's there somewhere. That's got it. Yeah, like, <laughs> got it in here. Like, Camera shy yeah. screw, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a plain meal. Yeah. So, what you're saying then, Callum, is it's all laser now, though? Yeah, so what we're doing now is we're using um, a 3D measuring device. Okay. Um, although, like the traditional method of using the plastic works, yeah. it, just, it cannot be, it's just accurate down to a millimetre. But oh. it just means it's accurate down to the millimetre, but it's also. There's not much leeway on what can go wrong, so it has to be perfect. So that's yeah. what I'm saying to you about fixing this board. Yeah. Apparently the laser sits on the floor there, which is a bit loose at the moment. So I mean, then you get some weight on top of that, so it doesn't move. Because of the accuracy that's required. And this is the actual laser here. So obviously, we'll film that when it's set up.
That looks an expensive bit of kit you got there, Callum. It is. It's been an absolute pain to learn. But Has it? Yeah. How long have you had it? About a year. Okay. Mm. No, completely changed the job. We'll see how it works in a minute then, eh? So. You know what, I'll show you on the screen what it does. So let's say I pick a point here and I measure it. Yep. And I pick a point there. Yep. You'll see how it comes up on the screen. So whatever that line is, what I just measured, the measurement yep. will be the same. So when I measure your frame and I measure out here, yep. it's gonna give me the shape I want. And then what I do is I go into a CAD software and then from there I can lay the canvas, do your cutouts and things like your um, your rails and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and that's how we design it. Oh, very clever. It's pretty much mimicking what the material does. Yeah. Uh, but it just speeds up the process so it can be like that by a laser. Oh, I see. Very clever. See how it's forming the arc on the machine. As I go, you'll see the. Uh, oh, amazing! There. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and then now it's still a computerised cut with it. Yeah. So I said a laser, be a CNC machine. Yeah. Um, that's it. Can read the file and then cut it out. And show you now how to take it down So what uh, you were saying earlier is it's when you're cruising along it's better to remove those sides anyway because then this part is the quicker part of yes. getting yes. down.
Right, okay. So when you want to get it down quickly, all you need to do is just undo, undo that one. That one, yeah. Quite quick, wasn't it? Easy, really. Yeah, I mean, you, you two obviously know what you're doing, we were, but we were slow doing that. really, yeah, we were slow doing that. Okay. That's quite nice like that, doesn't it? Without the sides as well. Yeah. You can use whatever side as a windbreak as well. So you yeah. can put that side, if the wind was howling this way and it's all sunny, yeah. you can just leave that side on and take this. So, you can so it doesn't. Um, if, for example, now it suddenly, you know, became really windy, it doesn't damage anything no, by no, me leaving the sides off. No, 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 no. It doesn't weaken the structure or anything. No, We're quite so. okay to no, leave it like that. No, you can just leave it like that. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, it won't ever blow off because even though you can pull these out, the tension is getting pulled down by the back and here. With these. So it won't ever come off. You'll never lose. Well, we've never lost one yet. So. It's going to be there. So you need to try it. You just got to make sure that you get them lined up in the right hole. Once you get one on, hold it. Go through all the fucking food there. Yeah, so then you... Also use that same one because the strap becomes the second one when this is removed. Yes. Gives your stern great protection from the elements, uh, wind, rain, snow, and current bun. 
extended living space so you can sit outside and dine and read a book and <laughs> He's laughing because he doesn't read books. <laughs> and watch the wife read books. And <laughs> obviously, just sort of generally chill out, cup of coffee, that type of thing. Just take it easy. Privacy and comfort. Basically, in a nutshell, you can sit in your stern area without worrying about prying eyes, <laughs> too many people poking their nose in what you're doing, <laughs> and just the feeling of that sort of Privacy, I suppose. Enclosure. Oh, the enclosed space, yeah. yes. A nice enclosed space, just another comfortable living area. And obviously, there'll be a storage, I suppose, as well. Reduced maintenance. Absolutely perfect to watch all the leaves just sort of flutter away from your engine bay instead of just cramming themselves in and rotting away and ruining the floor on your stern. Customization for the nation. <laughs> <coughs> Customization. So obviously it's a bloody good idea to choose a colour that's going to suit your boat. <laughs> you could choose a colour that matches your dog, your kettle, your toaster, your bathroom tiles. But probably ideal to choose a colour that's going to be easy to clean, bird shit happy. <laughs> And preferably matches your boat. <laughs> Installation and fitting should be a really, really quality, nice, tight fit, but not too tight that you can't actually do up your poppers, etc., and your te- <laughs> and, and, and little turny things. <laughs> no, it's true. Isn't it? um, yeah, you want to, but it's still got to be a nice sort of quality, tight fit, really, to keep out the elements as best as possible. Limited headroom. Depends on the design of the boat, I suppose. We're quite fortunate, we've got a large stern deck, so headroom's not an issue for us on that. It's been manufactured to suit us, um, but that won't always be the case with other boats, possibly. Restricted views. Well, to be quite honest with you, I crashed a few times when I didn't even have one. <laughs> <laughs> have a cover on. So uh, I can only see things getting worse in the future. Because obviously it's not such a good view. There are restricted views. I think we'll put it down though, yeah? We'll but obviously it might be safer to put it down, yes. Yeah. Also, Ernie's moaning that he hasn't got such a good view when people walk past. But, you know, he's going to have to lump that. Cost. I would liken it to putting a conservatory on a house. You don't necessarily need that conservatory. But it gives you all the benefits that we've discussed previously. So that it's really up to the boat owner themselves to make that decision as to whether they think the outlay is worth it. Maintenance and cleaning. Well, we haven't experienced that yet, but I can imagine it can be a bit of a pain in the quite with you. But I suppose every time you stop at a watering hole, fill up, filling up your tank, it's a good idea to give it a spray apparently, so I've heard. Um, just use the correct cleaning products on it. Or just plain water. It's really good because you could have different... So we've got this bit open now. I've just opened the back part because Sammy's up there. So you can open different parts of it. All this can come off, obviously. Very well done, I love it. We are now getting one at the front as well, just to match it through, so watch this space on that one. Well, absolutely delighted with the canopy. Um, all I can say really is I hope you really enjoyed the vlog. Uh, we enjoyed making it. It was quite interesting like filming someone doing a process on our boat, first of all, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, having a chat with everyone about this and the other. It's and very it's... interesting to see that. What do you mean? Are you saying I don't finish any work off? <laughs> Only because you dragged me to another job <laughs> here and there. Do this today and then drag me on to something else. You know what it's like, guys. You've seen it all before. Uh, anyway, so we will catch you on the bathroom renovation. Next week, yeah, back to bathroom. Whether that's the completion of the bathroom or not remains to be seen.
but we're obviously doing our best. So, cheers, guys. Bye for Thanks now. for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Ernie, are you bothering? Ernie. No, he's not no. bothering. No, <laughs> he's playing with his toys. <laughs> see you later, guys. Bye. Great to see you again. Am I oh. too late? Am I too late? <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah. Yeah, I can put. Come on. Oh. Oh. There. Right, ready? You didn't miss it. See you later, guys. <laughs> See you later, monkey. See you later, guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, it's hot in there, isn't it? Go always end it with Ernie. Go end it with Ernie, ain't we?